Good afternoon, you guys. Today is Wednesday, October the 25th. I am off for the next few days, so. Do you hear me talking? Well, I have, it's not important. It is important. It's rude. Every time I pick this camera up, it is a magnet for people to bother me while I'm recording. Ask Christopher, he could type just like I can. <sighs> Anyways, you guys, I am off for the next few days, so I'm just going to relax. It is, I don't even know what time it is today. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.32 p.m. It's 1.32. I need to go downstairs and take out some chicken wings for dinner. I think I'm going to make chicken wings, uh, teriyaki chicken wings and fried rice for dinner. The child don't ask for regular stuff. He wants a 3D printer so he can make a whole damn costume. Like what? My goodness. Anyway, I'm back downstairs now. I thought I would make body butter today, but I am in no mood for body butter. But it smells like vanilla heaven in here right now because this candle's been on a candle warmer. I need to sweep this floor. Why is everything so expensive? If we're not already, we're on the verge of a great depression. <laughs> the shit is depressing. It really is. The expectation to still perform when you feel like crap is through the roof as a woman. There's too much going on. It's too much going on. It's too much. It's too much. Anyway. Like I said, I was going to make some body butter, but I may save that for a different day. Um, maybe I'll just set out all the stuff that I'm gonna need because I still have a ton of like fragrance oils and things like that. And it smells so good in here. I don't know what I want to make exactly. Um, something fruity probably. But I think I am going to make some because now with the winter months up on us, it's definitely ashy season. So try to end up making something. Maybe tomorrow, maybe a little bit later today. I'm not sure, but definitely not right now. One of my goals is to get back into making body butter again and trying to really hone in on how to brand myself and get exposure and foot traffic because when I tried it before, I didn't get a lot of foot traffic and so eventually I ended up taking it down because I was paying for Shopify and I wasn't making sales. So it was like, a waste of money for something that wasn't doing anything. And then, I don't know, it's just a crazy time that we live in right now because stuff is so expensive. And it also gets missed, I think, that, you know, groceries and things going up, paying three, four dollars more, it seems like a small amount, but that shit adds up. And in every aspect of your life, if things around you are going up, it don't be no joke. It really don't. I need to make some dishwater. So how are you guys coping in this inflation that we're going through? I don't see no signs of it letting up anytime soon because we are definitely in a recession, Great Depression because the way stuff is expensive. It don't make no sense at all. It's crazy, really crazy. Getting ready to thaw these chicken wings out. Oh. So we can have that for dinner. You guys, also then the fact that America will send money, billions, to other countries to help out their citizens when people are struggling right here. I mean, just on groceries alone, 
we're spending double what we were spending for the same things. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy as heck. What is it? Warms the candle up instead of it being lit by a fire. So the room can smell good. Do you smell it? It smells like vanilla. You smell it? You like that? Take a look at the one I'm going to So it's safe to say I'm doing nothing today. I am doing nothing today. I'm about to go play around with Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna play around with Final Cut Pro and see. I want to, I want to perfect my craft, you guys. Practice makes perfect. That's what I tell Kaden all the time. You gotta keep practicing at these things. I am sitting here trying to look at some tutorials. I feel like I can do more in Final Cut Pro if I could just learn how to actually use it. I've had it for the longest, but wrapping my mind around it has not been easy. iMovie has been a little bit easier to edit, but it's probably not the best that's out there, honestly. I don't want to um, have the program and not ever use it, so I'm now just fiddling with some tutorials on how to like do transitions and cause it, it, it does work different than iMovie. So that's what I'm fumbling around doing right now. I was gonna say something else to y'all. What was I gonna say? I don't remember. I don't know what I was gonna say, but that's what I'm tinkering around with, trying to figure out how to freaking use it. And I know that once I'm able to use it, I probably can get really good at it being able to do some transitions because how I transition now is put my hand over the camera just to go into the the next scene but it would be cool if I could find some other creative ways to kind of do that to go from one scene to the next so I'm just looking at a tutorial real quick try to see if I can figure it out and make life easier when it comes down to it I had a lot Kaden out because he just kept bugging the heck out of me that child is definitely different his mind, the stuff that he be wanting to do and create. I just can't keep up. I can't keep up, son. It's times like that that make me feel like him going to school would be beneficial, but then it also might not be beneficial. I was watching something yesterday. What was it? I think it was like a study that they did on how boys are like labeled as like overactive and um, with behavioral issues in school, but they're unable to like sit down and sit still and all of that. I think there is some truth to that because I feel like Kaden, he wouldn't be able to sit still at school for hours and hours, just, you know, a one streamlined way of teaching. I don't, I don't see him being a, a good candidate for it, but it definitely is what it is. You guys that do videos, do you edit with iMovie or Final Cut Pro? I think there's a DaVinci, uh, another pro editing software that's out there. What do you use? How, how did you learn how to do it? It's definitely, to me, a learning curve to it all. It's not the easiest thing to do. But anyway, I don't really think I'm gonna record much for the rest of the day. You guys might not even see this footage at all. And if you don't, then I may wear this another day because this yellow is bright and fun and I'm not doing nothing but sitting around the house today. In fact, 
I almost want to take these earrings off, wipe off this little bit of makeup, and get back in the bed. Even though the sun is shining bright and it's <sighs> nice bright, but I don't know. I probably, I probably won't. It's still fairly early. Well, it's 4:30. I'm gonna start cooking in a little bit. I didn't have too much cleaning up to do. I know I need a vacuum. I need to clean out, um, clean my bathroom up a little bit. And oh, I needed that. My hands was dry as heck. Ooh. That smells pretty good. Anyway, I'll pick y'all back up later. I really will. Just this run my mouth if nothing else bye i was just trying on this bodysuit i got this bodysuit from shein probably two years ago and i never i don't even think i ever even tried it on honestly but it's kind of cute it's got a little lacy arm detail thing going on here i really want to make sure i don't have pieces in my closet that i don't even put on and i wasn't sure about this one but it's kind of cute it's kind of cute. So I think I'll keep that. I will hang it right back on up. I also have this one. I love it, it's like a salmon color. And I've actually had this before Kaden was even born. <laughs> and I probably wore it once. I'm gonna keep it as well, even though I almost pulled a muscle trying to catch the snap between the legs. I worked out a little sweat trying to put that on, but I think I'm gonna keep this too because I am into bodysuits these days. You look a little bit more put together that you can throw a little jacket over it. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. Also switch it out for a different top so I can make these wings. I had that yellow top on for nothing. I didn't do anything. You cut everything off, the lights and everything. Yeah, I'm going to leave Bumblebee. You're gonna leave Bumblebee with me. Lord. So the sun is starting to go down. I changed into some clothes that don't matter. Like I was telling y'all before, bleach on this dress. So all I can do is cook in it, fried chicken, bleach the house down. Can't do nothing with it anymore, but it is a comfy house dress to wear around. And I'm getting ready to put on something decent. I've been having to run Kaden out of every space, every room, cause he don't know how to see my face and that bugged the heck out of me. Just ran him off upstairs. I'm gonna close out today. I'm not gonna pick this camera up anymore today. Tomorrow is Thursday. Hopefully I can get some good rest and make some body butter with y'all tomorrow. I didn't do that today, but that's what my plan is tomorrow is to see if I can get back in the groove of making body butter again. I did some lunges last night, you guys. Ooh. That mean they work. So I'm gonna try to do that again. So I can get some gains. Ooh, I can feel it. I had the, uh, what do you call those? Those resistant bands that are real snug on your legs that kind of like bend down at the same time. And I definitely feel it, so. Good afternoon, you guys. Today is Thursday and I'm off to a late start. I said I was gonna make body butter today and I still may. If I do, it's probably gonna be like a small batch just to get my feet wet again. I don't think I wanna make a large batch, so I'm gonna have to probably reformulate how much of each ingredient I'm gonna need. So if I don't get to it today, that's fine. What I will do is make sure that I have the right measurements and I'll probably make like two or three. So that is what I'm gonna do. And yeah, just picking up the camera to talk to you guys. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers and she was talking about, you know, wanting to work from home and the goals her and her husband had and you know, the things that they've been able to accomplish. And she mentioned something about moving to the neighborhood that they decided that they wanted to raise their younger kids in and how the mothers in that neighborhood seem to be able to always have the free time to do extracurricular activities with their kids and you know show up to like parent teacher meetings and all these things and she really wants to you know work from home or at least be able to be gainfully employed doing what she loves which I feel her I feel like a lot of us are going through this stage where we are trying to figure out how to work smarter and not harder 
and a lot of us want to be at home with our children especially in the times that we're living in to just be readily available to be there for your family you know so that's the beauty of being able to work from home the downside to it is that when you're not working for yourself even if you're working from the comfort of your own home you are building someone else's dream and their goals and kind of not doing the same thing for yourself and I want to get into a phase where I make myself a priority and that priority be a habit. So what I mean by that is I have to start making better habits than the ones that I have because again, I'll get complacent. Like I'll start my weight loss journey and I'll do that and be rocking along. And I guess after a few days or a week or so, I fall back into a rut and I end up not making progress and not seeing instant results. So it's not a big deal or something and will throw me off mentally and then I won't you know go back and go even harder for myself and so I think that that is something that I'm really struggling with it seems like a lot of people are really struggling with that especially moms and I think the pandemic put a different perspective for a lot of us that we can still be productive for our nine to five and be able to do it in the comfort of our own home she talked about how she has the ability to be able to leave her job which she doesn't want to leave it because it has some really long-term benefits that would help her and her family in the long run. On the other hand, she doesn't want to lose the freedoms that she financially has now because there are two, you know, incomes in the household. So I thought that that was, was interesting because we definitely live in a keep up with the Joneses society. I mean, just being on social media and scrolling and seeing people have this and they laughing and enjoying life seemingly because people are only going to show you what they want you to see. But when we live in the keep up with the Joneses society, even in the stuff that we watch because I watch a lot of YouTube and I get inspired by you know moms that are able to you know work from home keep the house clean like do some deep cleaning do some deep reflecting very informative not gatekeepers with information very open and vulnerable I gravitate to those kind of channels because seeing other women do something that I want to do is encouraging and motivating especially because my circle is as small as a Cheerio like I have good girlfriends really solid girlfriends but I don't see them so I'm not getting that you know that daily motivation from being around people that love you holding you accountable I don't have that so I'm able to get that from the girls that I watch on YouTube I may not agree with everything about their lifestyle but there's something about their personality and their vulnerability that keeps me tuned in and she also mentioned something about her channel not being where she feels like it could because of the hard work that she puts in and I feel where she's coming from with that but then with someone like me with only 441 subscribers and I say only very loosely because I appreciate everybody that took the time to even click subscribe even if they're not watching half of her audience because she's got 20k plus half of her audience is watching every video that she puts out there I watch the numbers like I can see that consistently when she posts two days a week she's getting a solid seven to ten thousand views within the first few days of posting that says a lot people are tuning in to her and so I wanted to send her some words of encouragement in her comment section but I also didn't want to make her feel like like giving her unsolicited advice you can read stuff and take on a completely different meaning than the person who wrote it intended just by the way it was written you don't see the person's you know body language you don't hear the tone of their voice or the sincerity in their voice so I decided not to make a comment at all I wanted to piggyback on the fact that there are people that want to be where you are and that's something that we have to be careful of because it's very easy to be covetous of what other people have going on and not live in the appreciation of what you have in your own life and I'm trying to learn how to be better at not being so negative and not being so hard on myself and giving myself the same kind of grace that I give to other people because you know at the end of the day no one can motivate you more than you motivate yourself so if you have some goals and things that you can like write down and like things that are tangible you have to show up consistently which is a big reason why I have picked up on YouTube my channel is growing at a snail's pace but it's going to be authentic it's going to be something that grew organically if it gets to that level and if nothing else I want to be able to hold myself accountable by the things that I put out there because if I can 
make myself accountable by going back and watching a video that I posted saying, oh, you know, I said I was gonna do that here and I fell off, let me pick that back up because somebody may be watching me, you know? And I think that that's the appeal of YouTube for me. It's not to be seen, it's not to be like, oh, I got this, I got that, because people can look at things that you have material-wise and think that you have way more than you actually do. You know, sometimes people can spend, you know, $50 and make it look like $2,000, you know? But at the end of the day, what my goal is and what my journey is, is to be more consistent with showing up for myself because showing up for myself means that I can love on my family more, I can be better for them, I can be more understanding, I can be more calm, I can be more measured, I can be more intentional with everything that I'm doing because at the end of the day, everything that I care about and love and cherish is under this roof right? My family outside of this roof, I cherish them as well. But if I am not good on the inside, I'm not going to be able to pour good into them. My vessel will be empty. You know, I will have no more oil in my lamp. So I'm trying to get better at doing that. And that is what this is about for me. You know, I just really got to thinking about what she said. And I'm like, man, you know, I know there's people that are watching her channel like, Oh, she makes, you know, beautiful home decor videos and she's really good at how she puts things together and she's like an awesome mom and even as awesome as we think she is, she was feeling some self-doubt about what other people in her neighborhood are able to seemingly be able to do seamlessly. And I remember when we moved to this neighborhood, my husband said to himself, there's a lot of bougie people that live in this neighborhood. And although my neighborhood, the majority of them look like me, sometimes you can't really get close with people like that because you have to be careful too about people that you invite into your spaces and the energy that people have and things like that and so a lot of people around me and people that even I know and family and friends don't believe the same things that I believe and so it makes it harder for me to be able to like hang with them in certain settings because I don't celebrate holidays you know sometimes people are you know doing that so when they have get-togethers and family functions it's during times like that where it's not that I don't want to come and hang out out with you but I'm not gonna come if that's the occasion that I'm coming for because I don't do that and I don't want to make it look like I'm doing those things when I don't do them like there's people that have you know that I care about and love that may have birthday parties and it's a big birthday bash for them and as much as I love them and I'm glad that they're still here I'm not gonna attend why because if I don't celebrate my own birthday or my children's birthdays I mean celebrate party the whole night not acknowledge but party I'm not gonna do that for you and it's not anything personal so I tend to like stick to myself my nail is I'm gonna fix it in a minute but yeah I'm not gonna show up to those type of events if I don't celebrate those type of you know type of things so it makes it harder for me to have a group of girlfriends that I'm seeing on a regular basis. Even sometimes I watch videos and the girls are out with their homegirls and they having dinner and they, you know, they hooking up and they, you know, planning things and they're visiting all the time or they're taking trips and things like that. I don't really have that. Not because I can't have that, but I don't really want that, you know? So I have to focus on the things that I want and the things that I need in order for me to thrive and be my best self. And I'm going to try my best to do that by showing up more and being more consistent. So that is what I've been trying to do lately. And yeah, YouTube is, is you know, where I'm going to start because, you know, I'll do exercises and I'll be like, ooh, even the other day, I'm like, ooh, I feel that. I feel that pain. So it must have you know, work that muscle. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I did it again last night. I'm gonna do it again today. I'm gonna show up for myself in ways that I haven't shown up for myself in years. So anyway, on a lighter note, I need to attend to Kaden because he still needs my assistance. So, okay, I'm about to start doing a little bit of straightening up around my desk and tidy up my space. You guys, I'm going to be editing this whole video in, in Final Cut Pro. So I hope, so far it's been easier to do than I last remembered. Um, but also I'm like trying to put my clips in like at the end of the day and do some rough editing 
um, or some initial editing before I complete the whole video because it's gonna be over a couple of days so it'll be a, a longer vlog I like longer vlogs you either watch them or you don't I guess but um, I do because sometimes I'll have them playing in the background and I'm doing other things like cleaning up and different stuff like that so I'm just going to straighten up this space around me I need to fix my nail real quick too because this thing cute especially when you can do it at home for yourself it won't take me long at all yeah, me and Kaden need bikes outside bikes outdoor bikes so it'll be his first big boy bike with him some training wheels that made me a good little grocery list too because i also want to do some meal prepping but i also want to find meals that everybody else in the house will also enjoy so also have to be intentional about that because sometimes when i go to the grocery store i have in my mind what i'm supposed to be getting and i get there and leave without the main thing that i went for which is also wasteful it can be either you gonna waste or do it out one or the other so yeah i need to i need to do better i need to do better when you got a lot of hats that you wear it was very difficult to be on top of every single thing. Something is going to fall between the cracks. If you don't get a good little system for yourself. This is the band that I was talking about. It's a resistant band. Who's it by? It came with a set of like three. I don't know where the other two are at. When I put this around my, around my thighs, and I, even when I'm sitting down and I'm doing this movement, I can feel it. So I sit down a lot. That's the work that I do. It requires me to sit on my behind, gaining weight. It don't require it, but it leads to it. So this been this been helping in that area because I used to have some better curves than I do. I need to tighten up all of this. The tire around my back, all of it. So yeah, I'm gonna need to keep that right there. Oh, 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 oh,
downstairs I think I need to break my fast now <sighs> what am I gonna do it with that's healthy um, let me see I think I'm going to eat these hard-boiled eggs because that was the plan and then have it with something to drink so let's put in some water Oh goodness. Well, that was that. That was therapeutic. <laughs> I got some exercise in doing that. I got all my laundry done. So the only thing I do need to do with that is fold a few more pieces, which I can do this evening. And then that's pretty much it. I want us to do some meal prepping, so I want to look up some ground turkey meal prep meals. Um, I'm gonna get some chicken breast, some boneless chicken thighs, because my husband sent me a recipe he wanted to try. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get yogurt and oats, because I think that's something I can eat in the morning. I'm not big on early morning breakfast. Um, I pretty much, don't eat until well into the afternoon on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna get some sweet potatoes, some Brussels sprouts, some strawberries, some zucchini and squash, which my husband is growing. I think he said the squash sprouted, so we'll have to put that somewhere soon. I need to get some mushrooms, carrots, some brown rice, celery, lettuce, tomatoes, basil, apples, oranges, grapes. I may get plums and blueberries, I'm not sure. I need some more water. I need some milk. I am going to get some French bread as well because I want to make some tomato soup from scratch. I've never done that before, but I think I want to do that. And some French bread that you can slice however you want to at home because I'm gonna do grilled cheeses with it so i need some cheese as well might get smoked gouda mozzarella and then what else i need i need butter i need um i was gonna try to make chicken sausage from scratch too but i don't know if i'm gonna do that this week or not i need some more flour cornstarch i need parchment paper and eggs so that is all that's on my list of things to get. I'm gonna try to do that early tomorrow. Anyway, it's kind of dark in here today. So, what was I saying? Oh, meal prepping. It'll take the guesswork out of what I'm gonna eat on a day-to-day -day basis because a lot of times I'll cook for the guys and then I don't really want that. So, if I get the meals prepared and set aside, then I'll probably have a healthier option 
but I definitely need to get some fruit and apples. So I'm gonna go to the farmer's market that me and my mom went to about a week ago and get a bunch of apples because when I want a snack or something to crunch on, that apple was busting for me. So I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of those. A little bit of TV. Oh, goodness. I love an off day during the week. Now, let me see what I can watch. I feel somewhat accomplished. I feel like I got something done. It is 4.47, but right now, I need a little break. I need a little break. Okay, you guys, so, Kaden and I are on our way to, probably gonna go to Target. I'm buying something from Amazon, and that something from Amazon is gonna be the materials to make a nerf. Anyway, so it's definitely starting to get darker for the evening, so hopefully we can get to where we're going and back before it gets completely dark. everyone is doing well I was doing some stretching I love the movement that you have in something so comfortable to maneuver around the house and what I did was I put on these like what do you call them if I can remember the name I'll put it up on the screen but it makes you sweat now it is loud you're gonna get that swish. <laughs> but I put that on with it. I need to go get some chicken out of the freezer. Where are my house shoes? Can y'all hear that? Taking out some chicken drums. I just straightened up real quick. But yeah. Bones. I know they sell all kinds of resistant bands, but these are pretty good. Like I had them and wasn't using them. And it is helping me out because, oh, 
a lot of my pain is from not stretching, I feel. Oh man. The leaves are changing colors. Hold on, I'm gonna take you guys outside. Whew. One thing about it, when you at home, you're gonna be cleaning up all day. In some way, shape, or form, you're gonna be cleaning up. Let me check on these plants. Oh, I need to water them. Kaden, put your um, put your shoes on. Put my hair with me. It is so hot. I'm using this for like compost. I'm not paying no mind to if there's any bugs in here, so if something jump out at me, I'm gonna scream and holler. foliage off so that my husband will feel like he got to do it <laughs> all the time. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to be harvesting everything. It seems like it's supposed to get much bigger before it's edible. And I can already see they gonna just plant themselves wherever. I got some neem oil for that ass. The bugs wanna eat everything before we get a chance to eat it. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my, my sweat shorts <laughs> swishing back and forth. hitting my back. Sheesh. Alexa, what's the weather? It's 72 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 79 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Whew. The sun is definitely beaming. That I will say. Okay. Man. Oh goodness, but yeah, I think I'm gonna pick back up and finish out um, Only One Jess's vlog. She had me cracking up. I love the content that's relatable, like 
<laughs> she had a cracking up. But anyway, I am going to do that. And let me see, what can I have? I am. I will. Oh, will you order my pen? Yeah. I will. Okay. It's already on the way. Well. So that's why I said 10 grams. But you're learning. Yeah, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. Blueberry pie is good. Cause you thought he needed them But he's not coming back again 